Hi guys, this is Haley. Today we have a special guest, the Lia. Hi, hi, Haley fans. Hi, nice to meet you guys. My name is Lia Yu. I'm a skincare content creator and also the CEO and founder of Crave Beauty with a K. And I've been a long time subscriber of Haley's channel. Huge foundation free uh, fan. And mm -hmm. I've also gone foundation free at a similar time where she's when she's gone foundation free, I feel like. So I'm yeah. really excited to be on this channel. Yeah, I'm also a huge fan of her channel. And also, I think I've been like following you like very long time. I like stalking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, we've been stalking <laughs> each other. Yeah. Yeah, I really love your content. And it's really like refreshing to see your like sustainability journey on YouTube, which mm -hmm. is really hard to find on skincare mm -hmm. industry. So it's really inspiring. And I've learned about the sustainability and just about thinking about the future. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I guess like individuals, environmental responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So I'm excited to share for today's video, which is going to be about best skincare and makeup for winter season. Whoa! <laughs> okay, it is holiday season. Yeah. We're in New York City mm -hmm. and our skin is, is dry, dry AF. First. So we are going to start off skincare products. And first product I'd like to talk about is toner, mm -hmm. serum, essence, just any worry products. So what do you have to get? So <laughs> when it comes to like the first step of skincare routine during the winter time, I really do need anything that's like oil heavy mm -hmm. and I can't just do any hyaluronic acid or just a pure watery serum mm -hmm. like a uh, humectin serum. And these two products are my babies. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one is something that you might be familiar with, which mm -hmm. is Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Mm -hmm. This product probably has 40% of a moisturizing ingredient, like an oily ingredient that's like micro broken into a micro particle so that mm -hmm. it gets delivered deep into your skin. That can be a good first step. And normally my first step, because I have a very simple skincare routine, I just reach for the Crave Beauty Oil Ala, which is actually something that I developed and that is packed with 30% linoleic acid rich oils. Now that basically means that these are the oils that are great for oily skin, acne prone skin, and these are the oils that are super fast to absorb into the skin and sinks into your skin really well. If you want to try this. Yeah, actually I tried it. It doesn't feel like you are applying an oil. Yeah, it's very, very watery. Yeah, very, very watery and very hydrating but still feel a sense of like still I am locked all the moisture yeah. in your skin. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of leaves a very moisturized feel, mm -hmm. but typically I think if you have oily skin type, like mm -hmm. you get really intimidated by facial oils. Yeah. So this is people who are afraid of using 100% facial oils, mm -hmm. which I'm also a big fan of, but mm -hmm. In case you want to start with a oily serum mm -hmm. that's not too yeah. oily, mm -hmm. I think this is a really great option. So this and cream skin are my first step toner slash essences mm -hmm. that I use. For me, I've been enjoying this Robectin Hyaluronic Essence, but because I'm here in New York, I don't think this is uh, enough. This has uh, enough hydration for me at the moment, so I might need add some like is some serum yeah. after because there's a, like a seven difference of hyaluronic acids so that's what i'm using for as a toner as an essence now i think a lot of the hyaluronic acid essences like this one it is great for humid weather because what hyaluronic acid does is it pulls the moisture in the air mm -hmm. and then it kind of like traps to your skin mm -hmm. so it's literally pulling any water particle mm -hmm around your environment. Mm -hmm. So if you do have a humidifier at home, yeah. hyaluronic acid is a really beautiful ingredient, yeah. but it, during the winter time when it's like no. super dry, mm -hmm. it will probably pull more water like from beneath your skin mm -hmm. level and then makes it drier. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend to either layer this a couple of times mm -hmm. or follow up with a really thick 
moisturizer to like sure. lock everything just with some oil yeah, yeah. yeah oil or occlusive mm -hmm. or even you know vaseline which i have here which we can <laughs> talk about later yeah should we talk about the moisturizer i do have a moisturizer yeah. here my pick that i think would be great for any skin type mm -hmm. that is tried and true well i use this for like eight years now yeah, oh. I used this when I was working for Amore Pacific back in the day. So if you want to also test this out, not too light, but not too thick. It's like it has that beautiful, Whoa. adequate amount of moisturization Whoa. that is not intimidating. Mm -hmm. It's not heavy. It has a great, like just enough of occlusive mm -hmm. that you might want. Do you use it in during summer as well? I can use that in during the summer as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. And for me, I have to moisturizer. No, that's a thick one. <laughs> yeah, the biggest one. Yeah. So it's a La Roche-Posay Decap Balm B5. Yeah. This is such a cult favorite <laughs> in Korea. And so, yo, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. I want to see what it has. I just use this because this has a like very thick texture. Texture. Would you use this underneath your makeup? Um, or yeah. only at nighttime? Only at nighttime, I think. Mm -hmm. I have a better moisturizer for makeup. This is it's almost like an ointment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but this might be good. Actually, the one without the plus one. Because oh, there's like so many different yeah, variations yeah. of this product. Because mm -hmm. Cica Plus is like a range of their own moisturizers. Mm -hmm. But the one with the actual b5 plus is something that i recommend because the other one actually has zinc oxide mm -hmm. and that can make it feel a lot more chalkier this one is chalkier no this the one other. is great yeah oh okay the other ones are a little bit chalkier so mm -hmm. i think the plus one is the one to get well, i use it normally at night do my skincare in the morning i use this in your spree collagen green tea ceramide bounce Bounce. <laughs> is, is there a recent launch? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a, I'll try it out again. Cream, very hydrating, but has a, like a bouncy feeling. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I like it. Yeah, it gives a really nice dewy, plump effect. Oh, so it's perfect. I could see that. Yeah, perfect like for jeon jeon jeon. jeon. Yeah, the thing like thing where it skin becomes more like a mochi. Yeah, mochi thing. Exactly. So I really love using this before makeup. Mm. When I do makeup for others, I also use this cream. It helps to the like texture skin more like a smoother oh. because it has a like bouncy texture, so it just calm all the like. Yeah, it blurs out your skin texture albums. It would be great for mm -hmm. anyone who has poor like large pores. I think it's more like a someone with very chalky, just like rough texture. Yeah, <laughs> rough texture. Yeah. Someone with rough, rough texture will see a lot of improvement by using this Very product. Cool. So let's move on to the sunscreen. Wait, when do I talk about sunscreen and then any treatments after? But I think during the moisturizer, I should talk about Vaseline. Okay. We For might. sunscreen, we have another one to talk about. If your moisturizer is not enough, although I think the Sika Plus <laughs> is like really thick enough yeah. for you to not have any other layer on top, but I'm, I became a slugger. Do you know what slugging is? No. Slugging is basically using something like Vaseline, like a thick ointment and applying this almost as a sleeping mask. I know like ointment, like Vaseline is super waxy, super greasy and very filmy. And you can feel like there's like a plastic wrap mm -hmm. on top of your skin, but a lot of the um, Americans, this is like a US skincare trend right here. <laughs> Uh, you apply a moisturizer and at night when you do have like a driest area, whether that's like around your eyes or around your cheeks, use a very sheer layer of petroleum jelly like Vaseline mm -hmm. on top so that it then acts as a protective physical mm -hmm. barrier and a physical occlusive to trap all the moisture in. Mm -hmm. I know that Vaseline is not for everyone because it's a very thick and mm -hmm. oily, greasy fill. So there's a beautiful brand called Experiment Beauty. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't. It's a skincare brand and it's like a semi-occlusive oil that acts as a barrier protection. Oh, interesting. You just need 
you literally need this much. And that's all you need. This is all you need. <laughs> this is all you need. This is wow. all you need. This has 3% petrolatum, like the Vaseline ingredient, mm -hmm. but other blends of just more skin beneficial ingredients. So it's definitely more of an upgraded version of Vaseline. Ooh. But the texture is more liquidy mm -hmm. and it definitely does seal everything well and trap everything so well and so beautifully. It's not as greasy as the Vaseline itself. If anyone's intimidated by Vaseline, I highly recommend this buffer jelly from Experiment Beauty. I think maybe many people are concerned about um, the pore clogging if you use the Vaseline. It can pore clog for sure because it's basically occluding everything, mm -hmm. but it also would depend on what you layer underneath. Mm -hmm. So if you do have a moisturizer that's like really thick already, you probably don't need Vaseline to coat another layer. Mm -hmm. But I think for dry skin, like there's nothing else like Vaseline that can do the job. So moving on to moisturizer. No, we don't moisturize. <laughs> so let's move on to sunscreen. Okay. Yeah, what do you have? Oh, I actually like that one too. Is that the Isentry one? Yeah, Isentry one. Yeah. During the winter time, I avoid mineral sunscreen. So anything that has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide are more astringent ingredients, mm -hmm. which basically means that it sucks your oil. Mm -hmm. So it's great for oily skin mm -hmm. during the summertime when you use mukijata, like mm -hmm. mineral sunscreens. But during the winter time, because you don't want to have an ingredient that's like sucking your natural yeah. moisture, I would highly recommend people just switch to chemical sunscreen during the winter time, find a very nourishing moisturizing formula. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have this Crave Beauty Beat the Sun, which I know Haley yeah. used to love a lot, the previous one, yeah. uh, but we have a newer yeah. one. And I actually tried this before we film and could feel that better actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good to hear because I know you you love this one as like yeah. a makeup primer. Yeah, exactly. Um, this one would initially feel like a very water bursting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. texture. Yeah, but it immediately glows goes in and collides very well, beautiful under makeup. Mm -hmm. And this will give good enough protection to wear. And it's also so easy to reapply mm -hmm. on top of makeup. Mm -hmm. So Beat the Sun is something that I would use during the winter time very religiously. Okay. For me, I've been using this Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Worry Sun Gel. Hyaluronic Acid Worry Sun Gel. I use this during summer as well because mm -hmm. it's just hydrating. And I don't like sunscreen being chalky and drying off my skin because yeah. of dry skin. So this has been my staple staple for mm -hmm. all seasons. And sometimes if I put too much of this, it looks oily. So I have to put a powder on okay. top, a little bit of translucent powder on top. It's very hydrating. How much of it? They have like a tinted version. Oh really? Yeah. Which color? Purple. It's like a makeup primer. Yeah, this feels so nice. Yeah. And super hydrating too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that really does feel nice. Oh yeah, lit. I have so many lips, man. Well, daytime and nighttime. <laughs> I have a daytime <laughs> and a nighttime. Uh -huh. Well, okay. you go first. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about lip, lip products. Treatments. Our lip treatment for winter time. I have this Tacobo Vita Clay Sleep Mask. This is the one I've been using. Do you use this during the daytime too? Yes. Oh, wow. Well. Because my lips are super dry. So I think I, this gives the enough hydration mm -hmm. for my lips. And if I just use the waxy lip balm, it doesn't provide me any hydration on my lips. Oh, and yeah. And so my lips are pretty dry, so it's just perfect for mm -hmm. my lips. So mm -hmm. I've been enjoying using this. And I only like stick to the Laneige sleeping mask. I think this could be good alternative of this product i think this is thicker mm -hmm. uh -huh. really you think i think it's this is thinner really because i have both yeah okay so can you talk about your experience using the yes lip mask you know how on our facial skin we have like sweat glands where you sweat out mm -hmm. and there's like sebaceous gland where you produce oil outside mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. through your pores but on your lips, there's less of that, like there's less of that tunnel to mm -hmm. produce oil mm -hmm. and your skin on your lips is much 
thinner, mm -hmm. which is why it's so important to not only hydrate, but also moisturize and to like really seal everything in. And it has a very thin outer layer of the skin called stratum corneum, mm -hmm. which is a very technical term. Mm -hmm. But because of that, I do take pretty serious care of my lips, which is why I have four. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought. <laughs> but one um, that we are overlapping is the Takogo Vita Glaze Lip Mask. Yeah. I've been using this, these two as a nighttime treatment. Mm -hmm. And I've been a longtime fan of Laneige Lip yeah. Sleeping Mask. Mm -hmm. And especially this one, the gummy bear scent. I know. Oh, it's so wow. good. It's so I only good. tried the strawberry one. It's so delicious. Oh, yeah. This. Laneige Lip Sync Thing Mask. I love it because it's just so thick. When I use this, I still wake up with like a film on top mm. of my lips. Tokobo is also a beautiful lip sleeping mask for me. I found this easier to use because the texture is more like, it's like smoother and it's easier to maneuver on your lips. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to apply in terms of texture. Uh, both provide serious, serious occlusive property to mm -hmm. lock in your moisture. Mm -hmm. So these two are my favorite nighttime um, lip care and lip treatment. During the daytime, <laughs> I have <laughs> two lip products mm -hmm. that I've been loving and using. One is packed with peptides, which mm -hmm. are great for voluminizing your lips and also just giving that great glow. This is actually from Glow, the lip balm that I gave you. Oh, it's a Korean brand. It's a Korean brand mm -hmm. and it has a beautiful packaging. It's very similar to the Tokobo, but it's a little bit thinner. Yeah. So this gives a very high shine, high gloss, beautiful sheen on top of my lipstick. So I would use like a lip tint underneath and then I would obviously just slather this glow lip balm on top. Oh. And then this, I know you've been wanting yeah, to use. Yeah. What is this? This is by uh, AOU? AOU Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. This is apple balm. So this is a tinted lip balm. So I also do love tinted lip balm. So as you as you can see, I've been using this quite generously. And whoa, I'm gonna see if I can apply it on top. This gives that kind of like healthy tint, but it's not like very pigmented. That's not yeah, it's very sheer. Like, yeah, and it just gives a hint of color, mm -hmm. which you know, anyone can benefit from. So this would be good for like no makeup makeup look mm -hmm. So highly recommend this. Mm -hmm. So now let's gonna, we're gonna move on to special treatment. Do you have anything to recommend to your audience? Uh, when my skin feels so dry, super, super dry. And if I want to add more like a treat on my skin, I use this medic shoe. I don't know what. Booster healer. Booster healer. So I started with the level one. Uh huh. And then I slowly. Wait, what the... does this do? Did... Oh, it's like. Um, penetrate. It helps, helps to penetrate. It helps the skincare products penetrate. Yeah. Deeper. Yeah. As far as I feel, like a, like a, like a tingling. Yeah, tingling feeling. Yeah. So I started from the level one, mm -hmm. which is very mild, subtle effect. Then now I'm doing the level five. Wow. Yeah. That's strong. Yeah. And then if I put this around the eyes, I can I can see that my eyes like twitching. Yeah, twitching. What do you use this product with? This. Oh, oh like hyaluronic yeah. acid for like a <laughs> generous <laughs> amount. Yeah. And then that's actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. And I can feel that the this like essence penetrate more my skin. Mm -hmm. I can see it my skin's brighten. Oh, after using it. Yeah. So I use like a good two or three minutes of this. Level five. Do you use this once a week or how often do you use it? Probably like two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. Not every day. But I think that makes a difference mm -hmm. from my skin. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And I have another treatment. I nice. see a lot of sheet masks. <laughs> you know what? I brought like 50 masks from Korea. First one is Rear Barrier. This is like a cream. Um, oh, mask. mask. Yeah, cream mask. I haven't used that since I moved here, but this is the one that I would go for when my skin feels like a... So you use this when you're feeling like extremely dry. Extremely dry. It says extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then for everyday use, I just go for this 
Robectin. So you use a sheet mask every day? Yeah. What? Is it bird for risky? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just curious. Yeah. Wow. Why Be do you use sheet mask every day? Because when we dry our hair, it dries our skin at the same time, uh -huh. right? Right. So I don't want that feeling. So I put the sheet mask and then dry my hair. Oh, really? Yeah. It prevents my skin wow. being dry. Wow. It very does. cool. Very so, cool. So this is what I'm using for every day. Dr. Mask Aqua. So basically it's a sheet mask version of the Robectin. So you're very loyal yeah. to this <laughs> entire land. And if my skin is sensitize i'm gonna mm. go for this one. Oh, sika pear from mm. dr jar of course we have wonderful sika yeah. energy yeah. this is by far the best sheet mask for calming my skin mm. so i could literally let's see the difference before and after so if my skin is very red and sensitive i would go for this mask and i could see the difference very cool very cool mm -hmm. awesome oh, should we move on to mika Haley's favorite. So should we start with the face makeup mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. Starting with the concealer, I have this Glossier Stretch Balm Concealer. This is perfect for winter season mm -hmm. because it's a balm type, so it keeps more hydration and it doesn't dry up the under eye area. So it's, it creates less crease under your eyes mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a very flexible formula, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, 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 flexible formula. It doesn't like stick to mm -hmm. your skin so i forgot about this stretch concealer but this is one of my very first concealers that i really loved mm -hmm. you just reminded me to get it again <laughs> so this is my go-to concealer mm -hmm. during winter times do you have any cheek products oh yeah i have yeah. another cream products is western westman atelier westman atelier yeah i found that they have a very beautiful it's like a creamy mm -hmm. feeling creamy feeling but it's not like oh yeah very it pigmented it is really pigmented it's like very balmy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this kind of reminds me of like the old bobby brown so the pain the pot you mean yeah the stick. oh yes the pots i like it this color looks so scary in the stick itself yeah. but it blends into a really no yeah uh, really natural pink and mauvey pink breathing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so i like using it for all women petals petal the shade petal i have a cheek stick too <laughs> have you tried the m cosmetics m cosmetics is but is a brand by michelle fan mm -hmm. and they have a beautiful cheek stick oh. that i've been loving so much and this shade is called lychee mm -hmm. and it's a cute um what do you even call this what do you even call this color it's like a light peachy coral yeah coral peach mm -hmm. right? i love creams uh blushes because it's just so easy to just tap 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 blend it and you're good to go mm -hmm. yeah so i've been loving the cheek stick and this is also a very moisturizing mm -hmm. balmy formula as well mm -hmm. shall we move on to the another face for yeah mm -hmm. have this highlighter so moving on to the another balm product is the chanel highlighter mm -hmm. the balm highlighter and it's the shade transparent it doesn't have any glitters glitters shivers, anything not so crazy just just like a bomb but it keeps it like a wow glass. so it's literally just a vaseline you can use that <laughs> this is said okay because i feel like if you use these type of like really moisturizing balm on your cheekbone mm -hmm. i feel like your hair would just stick to like everything kind of but not too much I, okay but i really love this product because mm -hmm. just hydrating and very skincare balmy mm -hmm. products mm -hmm. so during the winter i don't want to use like a powdery highlighter highlighter during yeah. winter because it crack uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it gets ch chalky and patchy so i like just tapping this mm -hmm. a little bit on my cheek and it just area so it gives you that glass skin look a very moisturizing yeah i think the trans transparent color is the most beautiful mm. one the another face stick product that i have <laughs> the fenty beauty's contouring stick in the shade amber i first mm -hmm. discovered this by a k-pop makeup artist who does mm -hmm. makeup for espa and then i was like wow that actually looks so neutral and very natural and nice i think this has a really great uh just like 
neutral undertone yeah. that would look like a legit shadow. Mm -hmm. It is pretty hard to find this kind of color yeah. for contour because they mm -hmm. tend to know like a yellow, the more bronze. bronze. It's very natural. And it's so easy to blend. Mm -hmm. It looks super natural mm -hmm. and I've been really enjoying it. Yeah. Before moving on to the lip products, should we talk about your eyeshadow palette? Holiday eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the NARS eyeshadow palette in Ignited. Oh, I got this palette like two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. And as you can Whoa. see, it's like super glittery. Mm -hmm. It has a very festive vibe. Mm -hmm. And I'm not normally a glitter person on a day-to-day -day basis, but because I'm meeting Haley today, I just bought <laughs> this and I have this on my eyes today. Yeah. And I want to swatch this. Do you usually use this kind of like glittery eyeshadow for every gift? <gasps> it's so pretty. It is. Um, I normally use like some shimmers, like the glossy monochrome one mm -hmm. that has a good shimmer. Mm -hmm. I normally use that, that one, but this is like glitter glitter, so I don't use it on a daily basis, but mm -hmm. I've been really enjoying this festive box. Yes. It almost makes your eyelid look wet, mm -hmm. like glossy almost, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I've been loving that. So shall we move on to the lip products? Yeah, I have three products. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's called Ultra Deep. This is a hydrating... <gasps> Oh, yes. is that like the melting glass? Thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one is less shining, I guess, oh. and more subtle. It has a very oh. sheer. I like that color. Mm -hmm. It's called Pony. Pony. It's very more neutral, muted color. Mm -hmm. So it's very toned, like a fall vibes. Mm -hmm. So I like wearing it during fall and winter. Mm -hmm. And it's high hydrating, so I love wearing this for I'll check it out. I'll need to check it out. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And I have another lip product and it's Power 28 lip gloss. I'm a huge fan of this friend and mm. I have almost like all shades of this <laughs> lip gloss. Yeah. And for me, I wouldn't say best color, but this is my favorite color. This is what you have on your lips today, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what is the shade? It's pistachio. Pistachio. Yeah, it's very, it's also like muted pink shade and it doesn't have any tint in it. Mm -hmm. So sheer coverage and it gives that plump yeah. on your lips. And if you want to get more like a, how do you describe? Lip oil, lip like a moisturizer. Yeah, moisturizer, oil, oil serum. Like yeah. I would recommend this like a Dior, lip, Dior oil. lip oil. It has a cherry color in it. So if you put the lip oil on top of your lips, it's going to keep you like a little bit of cherry glow on your lips. So this has been my go-to lip oil for my everyday. Highly recommend for winter season. Yes, I have it on my lips. I stole Haley's <laughs> lip oil. Since I forgot. <laughs> so this is the Dior lip oil, guys. So I have see these three products. I have so many lip products, but I think <laughs> I would just stick to this AOE Cosmetic Tinted Balm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a lot of products. <laughs> <laughs> so this was all about our favorite skincare and makeup products for the winter seasons. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys find it very helpful and like this video. Mm -hmm. And thank you, dear, for coming today and showing your favorite products. Yeah, oh, wow. a lot of products. Slug yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna slather. try that technique for yeah. your skin. Cool, cool. Thanks. Thank you so much for having me. Please subscribe to Haley channel Thanks. and check out mine if you are interested in skincare. And on my channel, we actually filmed a fun get ready with me with most of these products actually. <laughs> so you see, you will see these products in action. And I've been like grilling and interviewing Haley mm -hmm. on some questions. So if you are more interested in Haley's personal life, <laughs> uh, come on over to my channel and click on the link below. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.